All right, listen up. If you were born in 1956, 68, 80, 92, or 2004, this is your year. Okay, well, that is because it is the year of the monkey. Tina Liao joins us to tell us what that means. Tina, welcome to the show again. Hello. It's wonderful. I, this is great because I have Tina and Tina, so this <laughs> makes it very easy. So we're talking about the Lunar New Year. So when is that exactly? Uh, Lunar New Year, uh, it falls on February 8th this year, but usually the celebration will for 15 days, will continue for 15 days. And you know, according to the zodiac, this is the year of uh, monkey, meaning it's a very vigorous year. There will be a lot of changes coming up, but f changes for good. For good. Yes. We love to hear that. And we were actually just talking about some of the items that uh, you brought here for display. Tell us about what you brought. Okay, we have these two huge fruits. Uh, it's a Chinese grapefruits and the sweet. And uh, eating those fruits will bless you. Oh, it's you can full smell blessing. Them. It's a full a blessing. Yeah. Wow. And then we have those Chinese lucky candy, and we have those red envelopes, and those with lucky money inside. So when you uh, say Gong Xi Fa Cai is like wishing you good fortune in the new year, you'll get one of those uh, red envelopes with money in it. Oh, great. I want I a red that. envelope with money in it. <laughs> so as you were mentioning, you know, this is a big celebration that lasts, you know, several days or longer. So what are some of the events that you have planned? Yeah, we have uh, two major events coming up soon. Uh, February 13 from 12 p.m. to 9 p.m. is the one uh, at the Tucson Chinese Culture Center at 1288. Uh, West River Row, and this uh, family uh, oriented, I mean family friendly mm -hmm. event will have food, arts and crafts, and then also uh, performances. Okay. And the cost is very uh, reasonable too. The mission cost is $2 per adult, $1 per child, and children five and under are free. So Tina, why do you think it's, it's so important that we kind of celebrate the Asian culture? Uh, what's important? Mm -hmm. uh, well, this is the Lunar New Year is the most important uh, holidays in Asian, a lot of countries like China, Vietnam, and Korea. Mm -hmm. So on the 20th, we have another big event is our Lunar uh, New Year fundraising event uh, will be hosted at uh, West La Palomas from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. And that one will feature a very nice dinner, performance, silent auction, and more. Uh, the cost is $150 per person. Great. Well, I know we're looking at pictures now from past events. When you say performances, tell us really what that means. What kind of performances can we expect at these upcoming events? Uh, as usual, we will have our uh, beloved and uh, well-known line dance, and then some Chinese folk dance and songs. And also, uh, this year, we will have a broader range of performance of other Asian cultures such as Japanese, uh, uh, Korean, Vietnamese, uh, Indian, Hawaiian, uh, Polynesian, mm -hmm. yeah. And, and each will add some flavor of its own culture to our celebration. That sounds amazing. I think this is great. And so this is an opportunity to kind of learn more about the culture, uh, but in a way that's more interactive. So like you said, family um, friendly, people can bring the kids and learn. And we were talking about the year of the monkey and I named off the years in which you were born. Yes. That would, would mean that you were born underneath the, the year of the monkey. So does that mean something special for those people? I know you said this year is gonna be, you know, all together the year of the monkey, but if you were born and this is your year, does that mean something extra special? Yeah, you're supposed to be uh, extremely good luck. Okay. So you have to wear something red all wear year long. Red. Okay. And red is the color we believe will bring us good luck. And you've got red on. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, shoot, I'm not wearing any red. Oh, you have red lipstick. Oh, red okay. lipstick. That yeah. counts. Yeah. Yeah. That counts. That counts. All right, awesome. Well, I know you're always doing wonderful things at the center. Anywhere we can kind of keep up with you, see what, um, what other things are coming up in the year. Oh, yeah. In later uh, spring, uh, the Tucson Chinese Cultural Center will host a uh, Smithsonian traveling exhibition uh, that tells the history of all Asian uh, Pacific Americans. And in preparation of this uh, uh, wonderful event, so we're learning more about other Asian countries and so include them in the celebration this year. Uh, so we'll talk about that later, uh, the springtime. Uh, I think it's March 18 or 19th that we started the exhibition. And for this time now, we're really excited about the coming up event to celebrate the Chinese New Year. 
right? On yes. February 13th. And those are actually extended hours, you were telling me. Yeah, right? longer than uh, regular. Usually we end in like 3 or 4 p.m., but this year till 9 p.m. So uh, welcome everybody. Join us for the celebration. Yes, everybody should take advantage of this. Tina, thank you again so much for coming. And you always bring us so much. And I know you, you. want to give everybody a, a happy new year. Yeah, I want to say a couple words in Chinese yep. to, to give our greetings for the new year. Uh, we'll say, Gong Xi Fa Cai. And very good. I have to give you the red envelope with money. Oh, that's why yeah, I, did I didn't it. know that was up for grabs. Well, and because I want to wish it to you, but also the envelope. Okay, yeah. <laughs> all right. So I'll say it again. Gong Shi Fa Tai. Hou Nian Da Ji. Thank you. Sure, thank you. Your money with me. Tina, thank you so much. The Chinese New Year Festival will take place this Saturday from 12 p.m. to 9 p.m. at 1288 West River Road. For more details, call 292 6900 or visit TucsonChinese.org.